There have been many calls to cabinet to bring comprehensive constitutional reforms in the omnibus bill in parliament. This was one of the issues that led to the chaos in parliament on the 26th and 27th September over the moves to remove the presidential age limits in the constitution. A joint news conference addressed by Prime Minister Dr. Rakana Rugunda, Government Chief Whip, Ruth Nankabira, Deputy Attorney General, Mwesi Gwarukutana, and other senior government officials. Rukutana said the Constitutional Review Commission would soon begin consultations on possible clauses for amendment. We have already uh, selected the names. The process of appointing them is in high stages and soon the commission will be appointed. Religious leaders under their umbrella, the Interreligious Council of Uganda, cultural leaders and the Elderly Forum have on many occasions called for a national dialogue to resolve sticky national social, political and economic issues. They have been calls to government and the opposition to strike a compromise and not polarize the country. I am in government. I have the majority. The minority should reach out to me. On the recent boycott of parliament by the opposition in solidarity with their suspended colleagues, the government chief whip said their absence has allowed business to move on smoothly. If the presiding officer continues to preside over and business continues as usual, without uh, any disruption, I, I enjoy that kind of peace in the house. The speaker suspended 25 MPs for three sittings for violating the parliamentary rules of procedure. The suspension ends Wednesday and the MPs are expected back in the House on Thursday. Prime Minister Dr. Rugunda condemned three grenade attacks on the homes of three opposition legislators in Kampala and Magere near Kampala. We definitely condemn without any reservations those cowardly acts against uh, these three members of parliament. The Premier dismissed claims that the attacks were orchestrated by security agencies or elements linked to them in a bid to intimidate the opposition MPs against speaking out against the removal of the presidential age limits from the Constitution. The National Resistance Movement cannot be involved in assassinating political opponents or in throwing uh, grenades in the manner that has been described. The recent brow in Parliament that nearly stripped the August House of its dignity was widely covered by many local television stations here in Uganda. Shortly after, the Uganda Communications Commission issued a directive stopping media houses from hosting the 25 MPs who were suspended from Parliament. The same UCC banned the live coverage of Parliament sessions on the removal of presidential age limit, which some see as unlawful. For heaven's sake, when you and me or somebody who enjoys the corner of may enjoy the fights in parliament. Society is putting pressure on government, putting government on pressure to protect our children. Journalists faulted the NRM party for failing to honor invitations on TVs and radios to discuss issues surrounding removal of the presidential age limit. The ruling NRM party's Central Executive Committee, the party's top policy organ, is slated to consult President Museveni over the recent tabled constitutional amendment bill that has a proposal to remove the age limit.